Sven Vinke, the head of Lorry Studios, recently had an interview with uh, GameSpot in which they talked about Divinity Original Sin 1, 2, also Baldur's Gate 3, and also about the studio going through like difficult times and how they handled that with the pandemic, the Ukraine war. Uh, the whole interview is about 24 minutes long. I'll leave a link to that in the description if you want to watch it after the video. Really interesting, uh, worth the watch, in my opinion. But the main point for me was that Sven was talking about the next project and that it's not going to be Baldur's Gate 4 or anything Dungeons and Dragons related, which is after kind of seeing the success of Baldur's Gate 3, um, a bit of a shocker, but also when you hear him talk about it and you hear him explain it a little bit more, it kind of makes sense. He did also say that Wizards of the Coast has had some large layoffs, which resulted in the entire team they were working with to be um, like not be there anymore, uh, saying that all that knowledge that was there is gone now. And this probably then stirred up some threats on Reddit because Swen afterwards um, went to Twitter and said that Wizard of the Coast is um, not to blame for the studio going into like another direction. Um, which is like really good to know, but they like had some talks and this is the decision they made for themselves and they feel like this is better for the studio and probably better for what they have in mind for the future for Larian itself and the games they want to make next. Um, with that, Swen is not saying a lot about their next project, but only that that's going to be bigger than Baldur's Gate 3. Uh, they also talked about the innovation between like Divinity Original Sin 1, 2 and into Baldur's Gate 3 and wanting to continue that innovation into their next game. And then also mentioning that the development time took six years for Baldur's Gate 3, I think. And uh, they, they prefer four years, maybe even three years, but four years was a, is, is a better development time for them. And that makes me hopeful we will get something you know, sooner than later. Uh, from Lario, even talking about doing the early access with Baldur's Gate 3 and that they might want to do that with their next game as well. So that's very exciting. They're probably working on the next game already, um, heavily in development. <laughs> and I think that if they want to go into early access, we will get something um, really soon as in not six years, <laughs> but like four, three, maybe even two years, which will be really amazing. A fun thing as well is that he mentioned DLC and that people around them were saying that Baldur's Gate 3 needs DLC and basically just throwing that to the side and saying this is not what Larian is about. And I like that because the game is already so rich in story, lore and in, in freedom of choice and everything that you can do with the game. I'm on my third playthrough right now and I'm st like I'm still getting stuff that I haven't seen in my first two playthroughs which is really really awesome to have. Um, but they are working on some uh, evil endings, like more evil endings, but that's not that's like not DLC to me at all. One more interesting thing Sven said was that they have uh, a larger plan that will dwarf them all, but that game was not Baldur's Gate 3, and that's not even their next game, uh, saying that he feels that technology is not there yet, and uh, that game is not being able to be made so far. But that's, to me, like really awesome to hear because they are thinking so far into the future already um and what they really want to do and everything in between is just building up to that really big idea that they have so that's no Baldur's gate 4 from larian um maybe another studio who knows but how do you feel about that make sure to drop a comment with your thoughts and leave a like in the video if you like it Subscribe to the channel for more videos and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.